heal the world, make this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, but if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. Hello everybody, I'm Lady Cheryl and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to share with you, due to a high demand, the formula for my mosquito repellent. I'm also going to share some ways that you can slow down the uh, population of mosquitoes in your uh, gardens, naturally. And somebody asked me in the last live chat, what do I use for ants? And I said, hot water, but I don't apply that directly to my garden beds. But I'm going to show you one more thing that I couldn't think of during the live chat that I also do. Okay, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is if you want to keep down the population of mosquitoes in your yard or your garden, you want to make sure that you don't have any standing water. And I have a lot because I collect water, rainwater, to water my food forest. So here's a product that I use. And I may have mentioned it in another video, but I'm going to share it again because I get too many emails about it. These are called mosquito bits. Let's see if you can get that, see that. Mosquito bits. And you can purchase it from big box stores or that big online uh, store that starts with the A. And this is considered organic because it is biologically formulated to kill mosquitoes and their larvae. So if you cut down on standing water in your food forest or your garden, if you put a few cap, uh, a, a tablespoon or so and read the directions according to your uh, container, how much you should use, if you put this in within 24 in your rain barrels or your garbage cans, drums, whatever you're collecting the rainwater in, within 24 hours, all of the mosquitoes, gnats, and larvae will be dead. Now, some people pronounce it larv, larvae, larvar, whatever it's called, honey. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay? All right. So don't send me any comments about how I pronounce things. At 66 years old, it's going to be hard for me to change. Okay? All right. So these mosquito bits work. It won't harm birds. It won't harm your food when you water your plants with it. It won't harm your cats or your dogs or any of your pets. Okay? Don't worry about it. I have been using this product for six years. It works. Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you is my formula for my mosquito spray. Now, this is from last year, and I can still use it, but I'm going to make it for you uh, during this video uh, so that you can see. Because I tell people all the time I really don't measure, and that's the most questions that I get. And I understand um, people don't garden the way I do or cook the way I do, so... They want to make sure that they're doing it right, so they want to know approximately what I use. So I'm going to make this simple for you. I'm going to lower my tripod, okay? So that you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, great. That's, that'll work. Now, I'm going to take this measuring cup, and just for the sake of the video, I'm going to measure one cup of water. Okay, and then I have my spray bottle, and I told you guys that I get this, this from that big box store that starts with an A, and I'm going to pour the water in one cup. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. The 
The second ingredient that I add is an equal portion of mouthwash. Now you can use any type of generic mouthwash. You don't have to get the expensive kind, okay? So you can see what I'm using here. So I'm gonna add one cup. And again, I'm adding it to the spray bottle. And guys, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I make a whole gallon of this at one time so that I can just feel it as I need. Now, this would work by itself. You don't spray this on your plants. On your animals, you're only going to lightly mist it on your clothes. And what I do with my grandchildren is I put my hand above their eyes and then I'll lightly mist around their neck and the you know, front, not their actual face. Because mosquitoes, they love to bite on cute little children, tender skin. Now, you can add one or all of these oils. These are essential oils. This one is eucalyptus. Mosquitoes don't like the uh, smell of it. Mosquitoes also don't like the smell of essential oils. And this one is lemon, eucalyptus and lemon. And this one is a, another lemon oil, two different uh, manufacturers. And this one is a lemongrass. And you guys know that lemongrass itself, the plant will repel insects and mosquitoes especially, and that's why I always have some of that on my patio. Now, essential oils are very concentrated, and they're expensive. Not too expensive if, you know, you just buy a small um, amount. But I used to have a skincare company. I made natural hair and skincare and candles uh, using organic and natural ingredients for 10 years. In fact, if you look at my playlist, you might see one of the uh, uh, videos that I had advertising of the 150 products that I made. And I started making those products um, because I'm allergic to a lot of synthetic ingredients and I'm also in allergic to a lot of uh, artificial preservatives. So when I was going through my battle with breast cancer 28 years ago, I had to have chemotherapy and radiation therapy and all the ointments that the doctors gave me to use in the area where they took the tumor out, it would break me out. So 20 years earlier, I believe it was 20 years earlier, I used to work at a uh, manufacturer where we made chemical hair relaxers. And I was the assistant to the chemist. And so I called the assistant, I'm um, pardon me, I called the chemist who I used to work with in the test lab and asked him if he could advise me on some products that I could use um, while I was going through that radiation. Radiation is horrible. I'm, I know I'm getting off the track, but I want to just tell you real quickly. It's like you go and you, you sit up under this machine and they put this machine on you in the area where the cancer, you know, was. And what they're doing is they're destroying all cells. They destroy good cells and, and cancer cells. And your body is just so wonderful the way the Lord has created it. You rejuvenate the good cells, but you don't rejuvenate and recreate the bad cells. So it's like you're getting skin burned over and over again. So you need to put something on it to soothe it. So anyway, he recommended uh, shea butter, shea butter oil, and jojoba oil, and I think that was it because jojoba is the one of the uh, most um, like your natural sebum, your natural oil. So that's how I got off into all the skincare and I started taking classes and I started learning about essential oils. So I know the ones that will help it repel mosquitoes and like those are the ones that I mentioned to you. And there are some others, but these are the four that I have right now. So essential oils are very concentrated. You only need a few, few drops. And usually I use a dropper but I didn't have to get one ready, so I'm taking my time, and I'm going real slow, and I just want to put a drop or two of the lemon, 
And I'm going to do lemongrass. And, okay, this one, good, has the dropper in it. I'm only going to do, well, I'll do two. Because I'm going camping with my sons in a few weeks, just for a couple of days. Everybody's been cooped up in the house, and we haven't been going anywhere. So it, that's the safest uh, way to integrate back into getting out. Uh, if you want to take a vacation, take a camping trip. So I don't have a dropper for this one, so I'm going to go real slow. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. And I'm just going to do just maybe a dropper, too, if I can. There we go. It's probably like three or four drops, but it won't matter. Like I said, I'm going to take this one camping. We're going to be camping it in the woods under tents, and I have all my stuff. My late husband used to take my sons camping and fishing, and we used to go as a family, and I'm just so proud that they still have that love of camping in them, and it brings them a memory of their father. Okay? Okay. So then you're going to shake this up. And that's it. And you're going to lightly mist it. And what I like about this trigger sprayer, and you get like, I think it's uh, 3 for $9.99, is you can just lightly spray it. And you can just spray it on your clothes. It won't stain you. And this is what mosquitoes try to get me around my neck when I'm watering, you know, my lawn in the morning. Okay, so I've shown you how you make your repellent. I've shown you how you keep mosquitoes down with the bits. Now, I'm going to tell you one more thing about the rain barrels. My brother brought this to me, to my attention. The one that tells me that I yell too much when I'm doing my lives. <laughs> We're very close. And if your family can't tell you that you're doing something that will make you get only better, who can tell you, right? So I love when he, because he does it in a loving way. He came to my house to do some remodeling in my house and, um, it was just a beautiful thing. By me being a widow, they wanted to do some improvements that my husband would have done had he been alive. So my two brothers came to visit me, and they just totally remodeled my kitchen, my dining room. They did all my floors, stripped up the floors, and put porcelain tile down. Long story short, finally he was here about a couple of days, and they were going in and out the back door because they were using the saw to cut the pieces of tile. And he said... Big sis, yo, uh, it kind of stinks up back here. Well, it didn't stink to me because I was used to it. So I started walking around, and it was my rain barrels because I collect the water, especially this time of year. We just got through our rainy period, and we just got through um, flash floods, so I have a lot of rainwater stored, right? So that rainwater will smell because, you know, it, that rainy period is from February to about May, and they came around July, a couple days after my birthday. So this is what I used. I went online and I Googled it, and, and I just got some inexpensive bleach, and I read for 35 gallons of water, all you have to do is put a fourth of a cup of bleach in there. And in 24 hours, you can use the rainwater. It will not affect your plants. So now... Every time he's come to visit me after that, he can breathe in the fresh air and it won't have that stagnant, uh, you know, moldy or whatever you want to call it, smell. So that's another tip. A pearl from Cheryl for 35 gallons, put only a fourth a cup of bleach, all-purpose bleach. And if you have a larger rain barrel, you can just multiply that accordingly. Okay? Okay, now. Oh, the last thing I wanted to tell you is that question about the um, ants. This is what I use when it's hot outside. Pardon me. When it's hot outside, I don't use any oils. I use the water, the boiling water or hot water. But if it's in the winter, if it's an early spring, and some of you all live in a cooler climate than I do, this is a product. Now, I looked, on, before I did this video, I went online on that big box store, and I looked at my orders, and I bought this four years ago. And you can see, guys, it's almost full. Okay? And this is Medina's Orange Oil, and it's a multi-purpose cleaner or degreaser, and it's super concentrated. 
I'm telling you that if you put about three tablespoons of this or maybe two ounces of this in a gallon of water, you can spray this on your ants. You can spray it on your soil. Now, if you live in a hot climate like me, don't use this because it will burn your plants. Unless you put it directly on the soil and the roots are covered. Okay? All right. It's called Medina Orange Oil. And by the way, you can use this as a cleaner, but I don't. Because I think it's kind of expensive. Not really for how long I've had it. But I make my own cleaner. Here are my oranges. And they're sitting in regular 5% plain white vinegar. And I let it sit here for a couple weeks. And then I strain it. And then I add a little dish soap. A couple of drops of Blue Dawn is what I use. You can use whatever you like. I do not use this on my plants. I do not use it in my garden. I just use this as a household cleaner. Again, the reason why I do this is because of my cancer. I try to keep as many chemicals out of my body. Now, I am aware that this antiseptic mouthwash does have chemicals in it. It has alcohol, it has benzoic acid, and it has a polymer that emulsifies the ingredients together. But that's not really bad because I'm just only spraying most of it on my clothes to keep from getting bit up. A lot of people have Ask me, email me, and even look at my comments. They say, Miss C, Miss Cheryl, what are you doing to keep the mosquitoes down? So that is what inspired this video today. Well, I hope I taught you something today or shared something that you can use. One more thing. These are the little strips. I mentioned them in my live, but a lot of people didn't watch that live. You can buy these on any of those online sites. You can get the whole page and cut it in half. These are yellow sticky tapes, two-sided, and you just take you a little a piece of string or a bread twisty, whatever, and you just hang these up around in your greenhouse, your your um, patio. You can put it in a tree, as long as it's not touching any leaves. And ants, you can put it at the bottom of a container. Let's see, this is your container. And you cut a little strip off and you put it right here, you'll be surprised. It'll be covered with ants. And you don't have to worry. Bees do not like this color. They will. I've never, in all the years that I've been using this, I've never had a bee to be, get trapped in this sticky paper. Only ants, no butterflies. The moths that lay the eggs for the aphids, they will come to this. The stink bugs um flies and gnats okay all right like i said i hope i share something that you can use this is the first time me doing this um video and i don't think i'm gonna have to edit it unless it's, i said something um that i didn't mean to say sometimes i'll use the, some, the wrong word um again i want to thank my uh youtube daughter the lovely Miss Green Organic Love for purchasing, uh, giving me the money, donating the money for me to get a tripod so I can get in front of the camera more for you guys. And because I've had people to say, Miss uh, C or Lady Cheryl, we want to see you. So I, uh, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm on a fixed income. I haven't received a dime from YouTube yet, even though I did get monetized uh, very recently. If you would like to uh, donate to my cause so that I can keep making these videos and buying what I need and paying that water bill, <laughs> you can um, use uh, look in the description of this video and you'll see my cash app or you can you, uh, send a donation through PayPal me. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, God loves you, and I love you too. Bye now.